Good morning, Silent Witness here. Uh, this is a web page that I'd like to share some details with you about the rapture. Um, this is from uh, Brother David J. Stewart at JesusIsSavior.com. Um, if you li if you like, you can uh, go to the page, go to the website itself, and check it out on your own. This page was written in uh, 2013. But he updated it. He updated it last October, so, and he'll no doubt update it again because these things are definitely happening right now. I would just like to explain to you through a chart that he has on this page about the differences between the rapture and the second coming. Now I know the rapture. I've been speaking about it a lot. The Lord has laid it a lot, laid it on my heart quite a bit these days and I believe it's because he wants me to uh, to let you know exactly what's going to happen as the Bible says um, there are uh, many signs going on in the world today that are very uh, convincing that the Lord is indeed coming back and uh, the world won't ever be the same as it is now we're never going to get anything better. Everything is going to consistently get worse and worse. That's what the Bible says. So I'm going to read this to you real quick, and then I'll show you the chart, and I'll try to be brief. Uh, he has a scripture on here, uh, 1 Thessalonians 4:17. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. And now Paul is speaking of um, the dead in Christ were, are going to rise first when Jesus uh, comes back to rapture us and then the, the ones who are alive and remain will be caught up that's the rapture the words caught up right there because there's no word rapture in the Bible but it means caught up and together with them in the cloud together with the dead in Christ and their souls will uh, come down to meet their bodies and they'll be reassembled in the air and will get glorified bodies and I mentioned that in a previous video so this is the page that I was speaking of um, there's a lot of information on here um, I can't get into all of it all at once I encourage you to research these materials on your own the website is um, jesusisprecious.org slash prophecy slash pre-tribulation rapture dot hit mail so html I'll say it says hit mail I always say hit mail <laughs> so anyway there's a whole bunch of there's a wealth of information on here you can look at it at your leisure the 144,000, the Bible believers or knows, Bible believer knows that they are going to be the Jewish virgins that are that God's going to raise up during the tribulation, and they're going to get people saved. They're going to spread the gospel of the kingdom, which differs from the gospel of Christ in this dispensation, because in this dispensation the Lord is using the church to. Uh, get people to, to realize that they're sinners and they need a savior and there's soul winners out there in every corner um, they're the ones that are going to get raptured out but the 144,000 are the Jewish virgins that are going to be in the tribulation they are going to be the soul winners of the tribulation period and the gospel of the kingdom is what they're going to preach and you can click on that link and find out for yourself it's just way too much for me to elaborate on in this video. Um, Revelation 16, 7 and 9. And he's talking about the plagues. What will happen when Jesus comes? I have this video in my... Um, I've seen this before. Danny Castle, he's a very powerful preacher. I encourage you to... Uh, watch that video. Okay, now here's the um, 
the uh, the chart that I want to show you. So five minutes have gone by and I haven't done it yet. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, this is comparing comparing the rapture to the second coming. Okay, the first thing that we learn is at the rapture, Jesus comes for his church. And the reference is John 14, 1 to 3, and 1 Thessalonians 4, 14 to 17. And I have mentioned these scriptures in my videos. The second coming, at the glorious appearing, which is the second coming, Jesus comes with his church. And there's the scriptures that refer to that. I encourage you to look them up. Next, at the rapture, Christians are caught up to meet Jesus in the air. At the glorious appearing, Jesus' feet touch the earth. He doesn't just stay in the air. He lands on the Mount of Olives. <clears throat> um, at the rapture, Christians are taken up, but unbelievers are left behind. At the glorious appearing, the unsaved wicked, which but the Bible calls tares, are taken up, but the righteous wheat, such as the tribulation saints, are left behind. That is a very convicting scripture there. At the rapture, Jesus will gather his bride, the church, to unto himself in preparation of the marriage of the Lamb. That's in Revelation. At the glorious appearing, Jesus will execute judgment on the earth and establish his kingdom. So we're comparing the rapture to the glorious appearing. Two different, entirely different events happening entirely different times. By the way, the glorious appearing, a.k.a. the second coming of Christ, is three and a half years after the man of sin, the Antichrist, claims himself to be God in the temple. I believe that's right. You might want to look that up for yourself. Okay, here's another comparison. The marriage of the Lamb takes place in heaven after the rapture of the church. But war on earth comes after the marriage of the Lamb at the glorious appearing when the King of kings and Lord of lords lays the smack down on all evil. That's what he says. These are not my words. These are the words of Brother Stewart. He's very passionate about the Bible. The rapture will happen in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. Blink, it's over. That's it. We're here and we're gone. The glorious appearing will be a slow coming. Everyone will see Jesus coming with great power and great glory. Oh, my soul. Imagine that. We won't see it because we'll be with him. We'll see him come down because we're going to see, we're going to be with him coming down. At the rapture, only those who are looking for him, Christians, will see him. At the glorious appearing, every eye will see him, and those who have rejected him will wail. And they'll gnash their teeth, and they'll say, he's the one. He's the one we crucified. He's the one we denied. He's the one we hated and mocked and everything else. At the rapture, Jesus will descend from heaven with a shout, calling for the saints at the resurrection. At the glorious appearing, no shout is mentioned, although the Lord does slay the wicked with the sword of his mouth. I want to talk about power. That's amazing. We don't have the first clue. The first resurrection, and he has this hyperlinked because this is the link, of Revelation 26 includes five separate resurrections. And that's very interesting. I've seen that. Very, very interesting stuff. You need to click on that link right there. At the rapture, the third of these resurrections occur. 1 Thessalonians 4, 13, 18. 1 Corinthians 15, 51, 54. The first resurrection is only for born-again believers, that is, Christians. At the glorious appearing of Jesus Christ, the final of these five of the first resurrections will happen. That's the resurrection of the, the uh, lost. Uh, Daniel 12.2 contrasts the saved with the unsaved, speaking of both the first and second resurrection. The second resurrection is only for the unsaved damned. Those are the people that rejected Christ consistently in their life. At the rapture, a resurrection will take place. The resurrection of the saved 
they are going to be raised first, and then the ones who are alive will meet with them, as I said in the top part of the page. At the glorious appearing, there is no resurrection spoken of. So interesting. The rapture can happen any time. Amen. Maybe even now. Amen. Which is why we are to be watching for the return of Jesus Christ. Watch and pray, he said. The glorious appearing will occur at the end of the seven-year tribulation period. That is, uh, as I said, three and a half years after the man of sin proclaims himself to be God in the temple. At the rapture, no angels are sent to gather the church. At the glorious appearing, angels will be sent to gather people together for judgment. And please refer to these scriptures. You need to know these facts. This is biblical fact. At the rapture, those who died in Christ will return with Jesus to recover their resurrected bodies. At the glorious appearing, Christians will return with Jesus already in their resurrected bodies, riding on white horses, wearing white linen. Oh, I love this. This is just awesome stuff. At the rapture, Jesus doesn't return riding a white horse. At the glorious appearing, Jesus will return riding a white horse. The rapture will bring with it a message of hope and comfort. Comfort you, one another, with these words. The glorious appearing will bring with it a message of judgment. The world is deceived at the rapture. Satan is bound at the glorious appearing. The focus about the rapture is the Lord and the church. The focus on at the second coming is Israel and the kingdom. No signs precede the rapture. Signs do precede the second coming. The tribulation begins after the rapture. The millennial kingdom begins after the tribulation, after the second coming. The manifestation of the Antichrist happens after we're raptured. Manifestation of Jesus Christ after the second coming, or at the second coming, rather. Jesus claims his bride at the rapture. Jesus comes with his bride at the second coming. Marriage supper of the Lamb follows the rapture. The great supper of the wicked follows the tribulation, and that is going to be uh, with the fowls of the air and any, anything that's created that consumes carrion or dead things, dead bodies, it's the feast of the animals, you might say. The world will not see Jesus at the rapture, but rather believers ascend to go meet him in the air. Amen. The second coming, Jesus will descend bodily and visibly for all to see, just as he ascended bodily and visibly. He went up. And he's coming down the same way as he went up. Amen. The judgment seat of Christ follows the rapture. That's when the believers are judged and they get rewards or their works are burned up. The judgment of the nations follows the tribulation. Believers receive a new, immortal, glorified body fashioned like unto the Lord's. And I'm convinced we're going to be identical to the Lord Jesus Christ. Saints saved during the tribulation enter into the millennial kingdom with their earthly bodies. They do not get glorified bodies. They get bodies that will withstand eternal fire and brimstone. Do you want to deal with, do you want your body and soul to endure eternal hell? I pray you don't. The Antichrist is revealed after the rapture. The Antichrist is defeated at the second coming and cast into the lake of fire. Israel is persecuted during the tribulation. Two and three Jews are killed. Israel is regathered. And by the way, the Israel of today is apostate. They are Zionist and they are worshippers of the devil. They are counterfeits of the true Israel. The timing of the rapture is unknown. It is a secret. You see that? It's a secret. Nobody knows about it. That's why we have to be watchful. 
no man nor the angels, not even the Son, know when this time shall be. Only a pre-tribulation rapture position supports this vital biblical truth. The timing of Christ's second coming is known, which is at the culmination of the seven-year tribulation, or Daniel's 70th week. The rapture starts the calendar clock for Daniel's 70th week. So right after we're raptured, the 70 weeks begin. World government, the new world order, follows the rapture. I've said that in videos before. You need to listen to the Bible. Christ's reign and government follows the second coming. That's a millennial kingdom. The Lord gathers the saints at the rapture. The angels gather the saints, the elect, those who are saved in the tribulation. Both the living and the dead saints are gathered at the rapture. Only the living saints are gathered at the second coming or at the tribulation. The judgment, or I'm sorry, the trump, trumpet shall sound multiple times. And at the last trump, trumpet blow, we believers shall all be changed, glorious, resurrected, gloriously resurrected with an incorruptible body. The Lord's voice is as a trumpet. There is no trumpet mentioned at Christ's second coming. In other words, the Lord's voice is as powerful and loud and convincing as a trumpet blow. And the last one on the chart is world famine, pestilence, war, and sorrow follow the rapture. And that's going to be the worst time on earth. At the beginning of the tribulation is going to be literal hell on earth and more. World peace follows Christ's second coming when he reigns from Jerusalem. That's when uh, they're going to beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. And the lion will lay down with the lamb and it will be everything will be restored to the conditions in Eden. And that will be the millennial kingdom. Christ will rule with a rod of iron and Nobody's going to be able to mess up then. But I encourage you to access this page. As I said, there's a wealth of information on here. I know this video is very long, but you can go to this at your leisure and find out for yourself. So I thank you for watching and listening. Um, I pray that you're saved before the rapture, before the time comes when the man of sin is revealed. And just thank you for watching and have a good day. God bless.